What's up future MedTech, Spicy MedTech here back at it again with another video. June is here and that means board exam season is near and I am back with more recalls and must knows that you must go through before taking the medical technology licensure exam. And in this video, we will be taking on hematology and without further ado, let's begin. Number one, in a spun hematocrit, which blood cell component comes into direct contact with the sealant? Letter A, plasma. Letter B, buffy coat. Letter C, white blood cells. Or letter D, red blood cells. And the correct answer for number one is letter D, red blood cells. Number two. Which cytochemical stain is the most useful in differentiating between CML and a leukemoid reaction? Letter A, Prussian blue. Letter B, LAP. Letter C, peroxidase. Or letter D, Fontana stain. And the correct answer for number two is letter B, leukocyte alkaline phosphatase. Number three, the nitro blue tetrazolium test is used to screen for what disease? Letter A, chronic myelogenous leukemia. Letter B, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Letter C, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Or letter D, chronic granulomatous disease. The answer for number three is letter D. Chronic Granulomatous Disease, or CGD. Number four. Considering the inheritance pattern, which disease does not belong? Letter A, Hemophilia A. Letter B, Hemophilia B. Letter C, Hemophilia C. Or letter D, none of the above. And the correct answer for number four is letter C, hemophilia C. Number five, which of the following would most likely have a blood picture showing macrocytic anemia? Letter A, anemia of chronic disease. Letter B, acute blood loss. Letter C, sideroblastic anemia. Or letter D, folate deficiency. And the correct answer for number five is letter D, folate deficiency. Number six, which blood to add additive is preferred for blood coagulation tests? Letter A, sodium fluoride. Letter B, sodium citrate. Letter C, sodium heparin. Or letter D, potassium oxalate. And the correct answer for number six is letter B, sodium citrate. Number seven, a hemolytic anemia that shows red cells having a deficiency in both CD55 and CD59 in a flow cytogram. Letter A, G6PD deficiency. Letter B, thalassemia. Letter C, anemia of chronic disease or letter D, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. And the correct answer for number seven is letter D, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, or PNH. Number eight, in Bernard Soulier syndrome, which of the following platelet functions are most likely defective? Letter A, adhesion. Letter B, activation. Letter C, aggregation. Or letter D, secretion. And the correct answer for number eight is letter A, adhesion. Number nine, which elements are most likely present in the blood smear of a patient suffering from a G6PD deficiency? Letter A, 
ovalocytes and writer cells, letter B, bite cells and Heinz bodies, letter C, Howell jolly bodies and target cells, or letter D, Howell jolly bodies and basophilic stiplings. And the correct answer for number 9 is letter B, bite cells and Heinz bodies. Number 10, which process forms 2,3-diphosphoglyceric acid? Letter A, emden meyerhoff pathway. Letter B, rapapore lubering shunt. Letter C, arachidonic acid pathway. Or letter D, signal transduction pathway. And the answer for number 10 is letter B, rapapore lubering pathway or shunt. Number 11, in hypochromia grading, which describes a grade of 4 plus? Letter A, thin ring of hemoglobin. Letter B, area of pallor is two thirds of the cell diameter. Letter C, area of pallor is three quarters of the cell diameter. Or letter D, Area of pallor is half of the cell diameter. And the correct answer for number 11 is letter A, a thin ring of hemoglobin. Number 12, which of the following is the most common complication of sickle cell disease in adults? Letter A, Acute hemolytic crisis, letter B, acute chest syndrome, letter C, vaso-occlusive crisis, or letter D, none of the above. And the correct answer for number 12 is letter C, vaso-occlusive crisis. Number 13. Which blood cells are usually seen in the lesions of patients with mycosis fungoids? Letter A, eosinophils. Letter B, basophils. Letter C, B lymphocytes. Or letter D, T lymphocytes. And the correct answer for number 13 is letter D, T lymphocytes. Number 14, in flow cytometry, what does the side angle scatter measure? Letter A, cell size. Letter B, cell granularity. Letter C, cell number. Or letter D, all of the above. And the correct answer for number 14 is letter B, cell granularity. Number 15, in which condition does a patient's blood appear mauve lavender in color? Letter A, iron deficiency anemia. Letter B, methemoglobinemia. Letter C, sulfhemoglobinemia. Or letter D, carbon monoxide poisoning. And the correct answer for number 15 is letter C. Self-hemoglobinemia. And that concludes hematology for now. I will be uploading more of these within the next few weeks, so stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. This has been Spicy MedTech. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.